Why doesn't this exist? Two years ago, I was having a major problem with all my wheels. They just like, they got out of hand. I was leaning them against the wall precariously. The charging cables were getting run over. So I designed the storage rack so basically I can secure my wheels in place and have the charging cables not go everywhere. I originally wasn't gonna make this video just because how many of us actually need a storage rack for multiple wheels? And I don't think anybody's gonna actually build and design and sell something like this just because the market is just so tiny. But I, I feel you, man. It's such a pain dealing with these 50 pound little weights that just don't stay balanced on their own. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this storage rack works, why I designed the things I did, and how you can build your own. I'm warning you, this video is just about my storage system. And if that doesn't interest you, just go ahead and skip this because this is not a normal video. The setup I have now allows me to store seven wheels in about a six by two by two space, something like that. If you have just one wheel, you can just get away with like a guitar stand and just plop it down. Two wheels, you could probably do that too. Maybe one goes on the guitar stand and the other one leans up against the wall. But once you get like three, that's when it becomes a problem. If you bump into them, you could fall, they can knock over too. And that's not a good thing, that's gonna damage shit. I just want something that can conveniently and safely store my wheels. It's pretty, it's pretty damn stable. But basically what I was looking for was just, I wanted to be able to pinch the tire with two bars that were very tight together. And the reason why I have retractable cables is because I don't want to run over them. This is just a little bit overboard. 80% of the mileage you're going to get is from the bottom of this rack. So one of the best things about this thing is that I could have just easily adjust these bars to anywhere I want and any width. So I think this is pretty much going to be compatible with every wheel out there. The benefits of using aluminum extrusion with these L brackets is that it's highly adjustable and very strong when you secure it. And you can widen it as much as you want, so it pretty much can fit any sized wheel. The 38 centimeter long beams have worked with just about every wheel I put in there, ranging from 10 to 20 inches. You can make the length of the rack as long or as short as you want. For mine, it's 1.8 meters, or about 6 feet. And for the support post, I used bigger corner brackets that are reinforced with L brackets on the side. Basically, there is a fair bit of work that needs to be done in order to make this happen, but for me, it was well worth it because this is, my wheels are way better organized than they ever have been before. Now, what I used was this aluminum extrusion. They're about 38 centimeters long, but that's like 15 inches. You could probably use other materials, I just used aluminum extrusion just because it's really cheap in China. The cheapest little L brackets have little nubs on them. I used an angle grinder to shape them down because I want them to sit just like that. But they also have these 40 by 40 aluminum extrusion L brackets which are more expensive but these, I think these will also work. I have a bag of M8 by 16 millimeter screws and I also have a whole bag of, what do you call these things? T-nuts. So I have 16 of these bars and each one of these 16 bars is going to need two of these things and four screws and four of these other nuts. Let me show you how these things come together. In order to just build the bottom uh, part of the storage, which I think is probably the most important, you need two 1.8 meter, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna leave the build materials in the description down below. So if you are curious, check it out down below. And you just feed them all the way in. So I installed a current meter, so all the power that goes through the chargers, I can see how much power is pulling. So if there's anything strange, I can know about it. I actually don't want to charge the wheels when they're already fully charged. So I can just kind of take a glance at it and then if it's done charging, I just unplug it and I don't leave any of these charging. You can just get one of those kilowatt wall wart thingies and measure your current that way. That, that works fine. It's a lot easier than what I did, but you know, it's probably not as pretty. 
Next thing I wanted to talk about is these orange balls. They're fire extinguishing balls. They melt and they explode with dust if they catch fire. So I actually don't know how effective they are on lithium battery fires, but I figured they're better than nothing. So if you guys know if these little orange balls are actually effective or not, let me know down in the comments below because I don't know. This is just the best thing I found. So they say lithium battery fires are serious. I've seen them in my own eyes. Whoa! And that got me scared. If I had one go, it would be like probably 10 times more exciting. I've only heard of a few cases where there have been fires. Uh, these are a lot more safe than hoverboards but there's always a chance, even with anything that has a lithium battery, whether it's your laptop or it could be your Samsung Note 7, you know, these things catch fire sometimes when there's just a malfunction. And just given that the battery capacities of these things are just enormous, I'm just taking a little bit more safety precaution because I'm just getting too many of these wheels and if they explode, it will be serious, a serious, serious show and I will lose all my babies. Now, it wouldn't be fair for me to just talk about my amazing storage rack without criticizing it. One of the issues is that when there's not whoa when there's not enough clearance for the uh, tire to touch the ground it, it can spit out on you Ugh. MSX has more issues uh, because there's a lot of clearance underneath but this really hasn't been a problem. It's just mainly an aesthetic issue. I'm gonna put this back, the 16X. It works great, I think. All right, the M103 is amazing because it just sits right onto the, you know, pedal supports and doesn't make any contact. So the other day, I was looking through my phone and I was like, oh, that's like the old time lapse of my rack. Um, Maybe some people would actually like to watch it. And what I have now is not exactly what I have in my old footage, but it's more or less the same, and I think you guys can get the idea. All right, let it roll. new charging station it's got current meter it's got retractable cables so I don't want this one anymore I don't want this one ha nope Ready? I'll be careful just makes me want to go outside 